have just checked in to our little Airbnb in Joshua's Tree. Joshua's Tree? In Joshua Tree. I'm so excited to be here. We had a long travel day today. We flew all the way in from Atlanta, then drove four hours through traffic to get here, but it is well worth it because it is so beautiful and we are so excited to be here. Typically, when we travel, we like to stick to Airbnb just because it's easier. It's kind of like a home away from home, so you feel a lot more chill and you get to really like live the experience of being in the place that you are like we get to cook for ourselves we rented a car which I'll show you it's so cool I'm gonna give you a little tour of the house okay so this is our little view with the driveway then here is our beautiful Jeep <gasps> I love it and then this is the Airbnb Ugh, you guys, I just can't get over it. All the details and everything, it's so pretty. I will have this link down below if you guys wanna actually check out the exact one that we stayed at. Cute little swing, got some fairy lights, a table. What's also great too is that if you are gonna do Airbnb with your friends and your group of people, you can all split it. Oh my goodness, there is an outdoor tub. Is this a freaking joke? This is amazing. I am very happy with this. Okay, once you come in, try not to make this that shaky, but we have this little lounge area, cute swinging chair. Walk inside, it smells really good. We got them checking out the record player with all the records. Have this beautiful. Oh, no way they have Bob Dylan. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that's like your favorite album too. Got this nice comfy couch. Oh, I like this. This is a very like, chilled out Airbnb, very chilled out place to be. Bathroom is in here, perfect bathroom. And then through here we have the two bedrooms. So on the right is the one that Dan and I are staying at. I just love the way this place is decorated. So pretty, it smells so good. And then this is Tess and Pat's room, so cute. Oh, I love it. Also, one plus to this, not just this Airbnb, but to this trip, there is no Wi-Fi. So it really kind of forces you to be just by yourselves, one with nature, take a break from social media, take a break from your phone and just relax and be with each other, enjoy each other's company. And that is one thing that we have just really wanted so much lately. So I'm really excited for this weekend. And obviously I'm gonna like bring you guys along and stuff, but I think for the most part, we're gonna be hanging out and chilling. And I just, I couldn't be more excited. <gasps> oh my God, you freaking scared me. Good morning guys, it is the next day. And first official day here in Joshua Tree, I'm so excited. It's really windy today and a little chilly, but the sun itself is really warm. And I mean, it's kind of early. We are still on east coast time so we woke up this morning at seven and we were like oh my goodness we have the whole day so right now i think dan and i we took our time in the morning getting up getting ready having coffee just chilling listening to music and then tess and i got ready and i think dan and i are going to shoot some looks because i'm planning on doing a lookbook so this is my first outfit you guys will see it if you watch the video bangs in my face <laughs> bangs in my ears bangs in my eyes and i'm loving the vibe here it's so relaxing like we have no pressure to do anything we're just chilling like we said there's no wi-fi so we're very limited to our service which is great because we're kind of just hanging out playing games and doing things in person like things should be let's see where everyone is right now it's windy are you not being affected by the wind yeah it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's <fine>. <laughs> <laughs> This is what my hair looks like when I get back inside because of the freaking wind. Hi, Pat. Good morning. What's going on? What you eating? Uh, we got some scrambled eggs with some cheese, some jalapeno kettle chips. That looks so good. It should be okay. Can you pass me my beer? Sure. I just meant because you, you said good morning, so I wanted your viewers to think I was a maniac. <laughs> I mean, it's noon. Good morning, princess. You can't say morning. It's not morning. It's noon. I keep saying that. I keep oh, saying okay. good morning. I love what yeah, you're eating. Yeah. I love that you have a beer. Goals. <laughs> no Chella. Chilling. 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 Here's Dan. He's in the tub. 
Is she taking a bath? No. No, no, I'm trying to unplug the drain. Oh. <laughs> Handy work. Currently taking in some sun. Pat over there in a freaking tub. <laughs> nice. We're pretty overworked right now, so I had to jump in this really cold bath to cool off. <laughs> Um, a little bit of time has passed and we have literally been doing nothing. We sat out in the sun, the boys got a little burnt, so we need to head to get some head to the store to get some aloe. Tess and I were just like literally laying around and then I was thinking like, oh my god, I'm so not used to not doing anything. <laughs> I literally didn't know what to do with my time and it was stressing me out and then I was just thinking, okay, this is good, I need to relax. This is when I know it's good for me to have time like this because I get stressed over having too much time, if that makes sense, but a good thing and I'm enjoying my time here and these ones are very entertaining so thank you <laughs> it is a bit later now and we are getting ready to shoot some looks the Sun has gone down and I found this really pretty flower desert field type thing there's a bunch of really cute purple flowers everywhere and I think it's really nice and I'm wearing a purple skirt so I thought it would be pretty I also added some like sparkles right here and some purple clips. Got a purple skirt. So I'm gonna set up the camera and maybe get some behind the scenes footage. Look at all these purple flowers. Look at all those chickens. There's so many everywhere. It is very windy though, so <laughs> we are trying to get a lot of content, but the wind is very strong, so I pinned my bangs up and um, this is what I'm wearing. I have this top and bottom is from Revolve. My jewelry is from Child of Wild and Love AJ. And my clips are from Amazon. Doc Martens for boots. Let's do this. We came for the second outfit of the night. It's so pretty outside. Look at the sunset back here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Hold on. Wait, where is it? <laughs> oh, look at the sky. So pretty. So we got some shots. Tess and Pat were shooting back at the Airbnb. And now that we're done, this is the outfit I'm wearing. It's from Verge Girl. And I have my handy dandy cowboy boots on from Princess Polly. Hair's a mess. So we're gonna go. Okay guys, it's currently the next day. We just finished shooting this outfit. I'm so excited about it because it was really, really cool. Um, I was feeling really inspired again to do something a little different, so I'm excited for you guys to see that. And our plan for the day is just hang out a little bit this morning. Um, I'm, about, I'm about to make some breakfast and then um, we're heading to this place called Pioneer Town, which I am so excited for. It looks like an old abandoned Western town and I think it's gonna be so cool. This is the top I got from Urban that you saw in the last video and then this skirt is from Jen's Pirate Booty, which I think is so cool and so comfortable and like flowy. Very appropriate for um, festivals, I think. Wow, look at this. Boys are taking the roof, the roof, the roof. They're taking the roof down. Dan went for a run this morning. We definitely can't just like leave it loose though. It's gonna go flying. <laughs> and we are about to do some errands, run to the grocery store. So this is our <laughs> cart. We got lots of um, alcohol and snacks. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're on a health kick right now. Let's see how they die. What is that? Rice? Noodles? Egg mm. noodles. Egg noodles, yum. They only have like massive things of rice, so. Oh, yeah, it doesn't right. make sense. We have like one and a half days left. Okay, we good? I think so. Awesome. Thanks, Tess, for cutting all the cheese. We got a lot of crackers. <laughs> uh, don't touch my pita chips. Okay. <laughs> Set it up. <laughs> Make it all pretty. Are you excited? Can we actually eat it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 Dan's stressed. You know, take photos. It is much, much later now, and I am dressed completely different. We are actually heading to Pioneer Town. It was a town that was made um, to look like an old western town, specifically for movies and stuff, but also to have people come and like visit. We're excited to go. Um, there's this one like bar restaurant place called Pappy or something. It's got Pappy. a double name. Pappy and, Pappy and Harriet. Oh, Pappy and Harriet. A few people have messaged us letting us know that we need to check it out and there's a band playing tonight It's free so we're excited. I'm not gonna be wearing this There I want to take a photo in the old western town because I feel like I kind of look a little western Dinosaur. 
Okay, so we just made it to Pioneer Town. This is seriously so freaking cool. It literally looks like an old Western. Um, we're just walking in and out of the shops, kind of exploring. We tried on some mood rings. It's the only one that showed a different color for. <laughs> She's a. Uh... She's not relaxed. She, we're passion. all relaxed, and Alex is like passion slash mixed emotions, which is, seems you know, accurate. accurate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pat, go in the jail. <laughs> Pat, go in the jail. That's really funny. Actually, yeah, Pat, go. I'll take a disposable pic of you. There's been a murder in Savannah. <laughs> Wait, keep the lighter on for two seconds. One, two, three. Bingo. Do you want a photo, Bob? Man, I only stole three horses. <laughs> only reason they caught me is because I can't run. I fell asleep under cactus. Smoking's bad, kids. Don't do it. Unless Don't. For Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, this would be cool if we film over here with the bench. Just finished filming our outfits and kind of just exploring Pioneer Town and seeing what it has to offer. It's so cool here, honestly. All the little gift shops and everything are so, so cool. We are gonna head back to the car, change into some comfy clothes, and go for dinner. Got a cool, a Coors beer. It's in a chubby, chubby bottle. Be chubby. We were recommended to get chili cheese fries. I don't see the fries. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, it just got dark. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can see the stars. It's so pretty. But yeah, that was that was a really good restaurant. It was fun. Good live band. We had um, a good time. And now we're gonna head back to our Airbnb. Play some cards. Not Monopoly. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? Snaking out. <gasps> Sucking neck. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, okay, it's the next day, clearly. Uh, we are actually heading to Joshua Tree National Park today, which I'm so excited about because it just looks really pretty. And I mean, we're here, so why not? Like, I feel like it would be kind of weird if we went to Joshua Tree and then didn't go to the National Park. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> there's a cactus garden, um, and there's also different rock formations, I believe. I gotta figure out the name of it again. But there's an easy access to the park. We just have to drive more to the right. center. So it's gonna be about 45, 50 minutes from where we're staying. Which is fun, we have a Jeep, we have music, we got snacks, it's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be fun. And I love nature, so I'm excited. Nature. Nature. It's pretty. It's like what are you doing? <laughs> you guys. I don't know if you could see, cause it was like kind of cut out, but I was trying to give you bunny ears. But, oh, thank you. I just feel really relaxed. I like being here, but at the same time, this is something I really noticed about myself, which is almost a blessing in disguise that we came here, but I am not good with doing nothing. Like I was feeling stressed and I realized this trip that I need to do this more because it's not healthy to have to always be thinking and doing things and being attached to social media, attached to my phone, attached to technology. Like I couldn't just sit and do nothing. And I realized that um, it freaked me out a little bit because years ago I would have been totally fine just you know doing nothing even just listening to music and sitting but I could not even do that I was like antsy <laughs> Tess was too we were, uh, having a moment <laughs> we were just like didn't know what to do with ourselves so it's this is like I said a blessing in disguise so I need to make sure to do this more often and try to Bring myself down to earth, take a break from social media, take a break from my phone, just chill. Like maybe once a month, a weekend, just put my shit away. I don't know. Do you guys do anything like that? I am curious to know about that, but yeah, let's go. Currently packing up the Jeep, getting ready to head out, bringing a lot of snacks with us today. Lots of <laughs> crackers, lots of water, sunscreen, and beer. Do we have laughing. enough snacks? What's your life yeah. Like? Soup health. <laughs> Soup health.
Princess of Kavan, and we made it to Hidden Valley, which was really recommended by a lot of you guys. Um, it's basically a one mile hike, and you go between these two rock formations. Uh, this is our view right now. This is so cool. Look at these rocks. Hey, girlfriend. Hi. That one looks like it holds when they walk to God's thumb. See the thumb? <laughs> Oh, actually kind of looks like a thumb. Right? This place is cool. Did you see those people rock climbing out? No, where? There's, well, there was two before, and that was only one. He oh my god, that through. really scares me. <laughs> it freaks me out. I have like such a fear of heights. Dan is being one with nature and being a rock himself. Hey, <laughs> what's up? Not much. I was being Smeagol. Yeah, he literally took his ring and he I was like, my wedding ring, like, <laughs> my precious. I got a yellow spotted lizard. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear me because it's windy, but we decided to sit here in the wind and in the shade on a blanket. Good morning. So it is our last day here in Joshua Tree. I'm really sad about it because like it was honestly such a relaxing weekend. Lots of good times, lots of good food, lots of good company, and lots of good lessons for me especially. But yeah, we are actually driving back to LA today. But before we do that, we are driving to this tulip field, which I've been wanting to go to for the past like four years. And I'm really excited that we get to go. I just want to make sure that, you know, I had a lot of you guys commenting on my photos saying that to respect nature and stuff, which I totally understand. Obviously going to a tulip field is not just for Instagram. Like I've actually just wanted to see it for myself because tulips are one of my favorite flowers. It's something that has been on my bucket list for a long time. So I just really, really want to see it with my own eyes. We are going to finish our coffee and then jump in the Jeep and head over there. Turns dark, we're just carnival hearts, you and me. <laughs> 